Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Voice of the Voices. We're coming to you from Sandusky, Ohio. No, Columbus, Ohio, right? Oh, Sandusky. Sandusky? Okay, I was right. My bad. At ColossoCon. I'm Ansel Young, and today joining us is Phil Lamar. How are you doing today, Phil? Uh, I'm doing good, Ansel. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing much better than that guy. Yeah. There, there is someone uh, in ears and tail dead asleep on the chairs. Yes, there is. I don't know why. It's been a long weekend. Well, I guess, is, are, is it after checkout time? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we have a few questions here for you. Uh, one of them is, what is it like working in industry today? Uh, it's different than it was. It's funny, I was just talking to Cree Summer about the way things have changed over time. When we, she and I have been doing this for a long time. When we first started out, you would do a show. When the show ended or got canceled or whatever, it was gone. It disappeared off the face of the earth. Then cable came along, and now everything you've ever done is still running somewhere. Right. But you've also got these shifts that are happening now where when a show gets canceled, people are expecting it to show up. It's like, well, maybe now Netflix will get it. Right. You know? So no one, like, last time Futurama got canceled, um, the time before, people were just distraught. Now people come up to me and go, it's like, oh, you got canceled. Well, probably come back again, right? Yeah. It's like, that's, which is like a weird thing. It's like someone's coming up to your funeral and like, I'm so sorry your grandmother passed. But she'll probably come back again, right? It's like, you know, once, once we live in the zombie world, that, yeah. that's what it'll be like. There's such things as reincarnation. I have Exactly. She could be a peacock. Yeah. Okay, so what was it like working on Pulp Fiction? Uh, that was great. Pulp Fiction was one of, to this day, one of the nicest sets I've ever been on. Um, it was also a really different experience because the script was so amazing. And even though there was not a lot of money at play, everybody there knew it was great and was committed to it. It was, there was no ego. I mean, you know, it's funny you hear, you know, rumors or stories or whatever about, you know, Bruce Willis being difficult back then. Nobody had anything but the nicest stuff to say about like and about everybody on that set, big stars and you know unknowns alike. All right, um, is there anything coming out that you has recently been announced or that you're working on that you'd like to plug or that you can talk about? Because I know you guys have a lot of those non-disclosures. Yeah, there seems to be more and more of that. You know, it's like oh, you're working on this, but you can't tell anyone. Um, there are a couple of those, uh, but there are, there's a, a new series. Um, on Netflix called Turbo Fast um, that uh, we've been uh, doing. It's uh, a really fun animated show for, that DreamWorks is doing. Also um, doing a podcast called Blackout Television that's uh, available on iTunes. And we also have a Blackout Television app that's really fun. It's uh, basically an improvised show that we record. You know, we start, start, press record, start going, and, you know, go just make up the entire thing. Um, yeah, blackouttelevision.com is really, it's really funny. Now, um, a couple other show questions here for you. Futurama, which is a huge fan following. What was it like working on that? Um, well, it was interesting because it was different uh, every one of the three times we worked on it. I mean, you know, first we were on Fox, then we did the movies, and then we were on Comedy Central. Although, the truth of the matter is, it was the same producers, the same cast, and most of the same writers. So it felt, even though we did it three different ways over 10, 12 years, it basically felt the same. It felt like it never stopped. Now, another show you worked on, Samurai Jack, which was a huge part of my childhood. I watched that a ton when I was a little kid. What was it like working on that? Uh, Samurai Jack was such a great show. Uh, Gandhi Tartakovsky is pretty much a genius. Um, and his visual sense, and also the way he works with people. He knows what he wants, but he's incredibly open to whatever you bring to him. So which is just a joy. It's just a joy. Now, do you have any uh, Facebook or Twitter or other social media accounts that people can follow you on? Or do you oh, say those? Sure, yeah. Um, I have uh, a Facebook fan page. Uh, it's the Phil Lamar fan page. Um, and also, um, I have my website, philamar.com. It's two L's in the middle and two R's on the end. Sometimes people get it confused. And um, I'm also Phil Lamar on Twitter. P-H-I-L-L-A-M-A-R-R. -R. Well, thanks for joining us today, Phil. Sure. It was a pleasure. It was awesome to finally meet you. Thank you. We're the Ohio Guys. I'm Ansel. 
Please, Phil. We'll see you next time.